Welcome to Electron Online. Our next problem is another interesting problem. We have a barge made out of a metal that has a density of 7.5 grams per cubic centimeter, which is 7,500 kilograms per cubic meter. Total mass 15,000 kilograms, which is being loaded with ore. And the density of the ore is 3 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, when we continue to load the ore, when we reached the mass of the ore being 80,000 kilograms, the barge will sink further and further down until the water will reach the very top of the barge. And with just a little bit more ore, all of a sudden the barge starts sinking as the water starts start seeping into the barge, and the barge sinks to the bottom of the dock. Now the size of the dock is 6,633, ooh, not cubic meter, it should be square meter. That should be the surface area of the dock is 6,633 square meters. And the question is, how much will the water level in the dock change, up or down, from the moment the water reaches the top of the bar, barge to after the barge sinks? So the water level will be at a certain point when the water reaches the very top of the barge, and then the barge will sink, and then how will the level in the dock change? That's what we're trying to find. So we're going to start by trying to determine how much water the barge displaces when it's completely down to the very top right here. So when it's completely, when the water reached the very top. Hmm, how do we know what that is? Well, we'll see in just a moment. We know that the buoyancy force will be equal to the weight of the displaced liquid, which is equal to the mg of the liquid, which is equal to the rho vg of the displaced liquids, which of course in this case is water. So it's the volume of the barge, as it's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's loaded with ore or not, it's simply the volume of the barge. As it pushes down into the water, the water is then displaced, totally the same as the displaced water, the density of the water times g. And of course, the buoyancy force at that moment will be equal to the weight of the ore plus the weight of the barge. Which means that the volume of the displaced liquid can be found by solving this part of the equation. So what we're going to do now is realize that the volume is equal to the weight of the ore plus the weight of the barge divided by the density of the water and the acceleration due to gravity. So I've divide both sides by density and g. Then right away we can see that the g's cancel out and this will give us an equation for the volume. So the mass of the ore is 80,000 plus the mass of the barge which is 15,000. That's 95,000 together. And when we divide that by 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, because that's the density of water, which leaves us with 95 cubic meters. And that's the volume of the displaced liquid just at the moment that the water reaches the very top of the barge. Okay. So, how much does the water then get displaced inside the dock? And we're going to ignore, what we should write of course is ignore the, si the surface area, ignore the size of the, uh, whoop, ignore the size of the barge. Ignore size of barge, which is going to be relatively small compared to the size of the dock. So from having no barge in there to putting a barge in there with the water to the very top, how much does the water level rise? Let's start with that one, even though they're not asking for that. That should be kind of interesting. So we can say that volume equals area times height. So from here we can say that height is equal to volume divided by the area. And so in this case that would be 95 cubic meters divided by a dock size of 6,633 square meters. And let's see what that's equal to. So we have 95 divided by 6633 equals, whoop, 95 divided by 6633 equals, that would be 0 0.0143, 0 0.0143 meters, which is equal to 1.43 centimeters. So what that means is, if you have a dock there, and now you put in the barge, 
and you load it full of ore and the water comes all the way to the top of the barge, the water in the dock will rise about 1.43 centimeters. Now the barge sinks. Now So when the barge is at the bottom of the, um, of the dock, then the only water displaces is the amount that the barge itself displaces and the amount that the ore displaces. So what we need to do now is find the volume of the barge and the volume of the ore. Now we're not talking about the volume of the open space of the barge, just the metal that the barge has. So we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume, which means that volume is equal to mass divided by density. So the volume of the barge is equal to the mass, which is 15,000 kilograms, divided by the density, which is 7 point, or 7,500 kilograms per cubic meter. So that would be kilograms divided by kilograms per cubic meter. So the volume here looks like two meters cubed. So that's the total volume of the metal in the barge. And then the volume of the ore is equal to the total mass, which is 80,000 kilograms, divided by 3,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So 80,000 divided by 3,000, whoop, which is 26. 0.7 meters cubed. All right, so the total volume, total volume would be 28.7 meters cubed. So what would be the displacement of the, um, of the water now? H is equal to volume divided by area, which is 26.7, oh, not 26, but 28.7. Uh, meters cubed divided by 6633 square meters. So plus 2 equals minus 2 equals times 10 equals plus 2 equals and divide that by 6633 whoop, equals that would be 4 that would be 0 0.0043 meters which is 0 0.43 centimeters. All right, so this is the amount that the water sinks after you put the barge in and the water reaches the very top. This is the amount of the, the height of the water caused by just the barge and the ore being submerged in the water. And the difference, the delta H is equal to uh, 1.43 centimeters when the barge is in there and the water is at the very top, minus 0 0.43 meters when the barge is completely submerged. And so actually, we probably want to change the order of that because it turns out that the water level sinks, drops. So that will be H final minus H initial. How's that? That would be a better way to think about it. So the final H would be 0 0.43 centimeters minus the initial, which is 1.43 centimeters, which is a minus 1.00 centimeters. And that's how much the water level in the dock will drop after barge sinks. It's not a very lot, not a lot, this is one little centimeter, but that's the difference between the barge being in the dock with the water being at the very top of the rim, and then the water going in, barge going down to the bottom of the dock, and the water level will then drop by one centimeter, and that is how that's done.